Hey, hey y'all, it is your girl Alexis Ambitious. I am finally back after a very, very long hiatus. So I guess I will explain that in a, another video. But in any event, I am back, y'all, just to give y'all a quick update on my locks. And they are definitely locking right now. I have in a, um, just a, a little quick little roller set that I had done because I was, um, you know, going someplace and where was I going? Girl, I was going to work talking about something. I was going someplace. Honey, wasn't going no place but in the office. My one in office day. But uh, yes, the locks are definitely locking. Do y'all see these? I mean, right now, they're heavily outgrown. But I literally just took out some um, crochets. And um, prior to that, I had um, some individual braids. Which, <laughs> I'm not doing no individual braids or no crochet on my hair until I really can get my edges in. Look at what I did to my edge from the braids. Empty, okay? That's what you call empty, an empty edge right here. Baby's bottom, okay? Bald. So that was another reason why I just went ahead and did this hairdo because I know when I wear it out and down like this, my hair is getting long enough to cover my edges. As y'all can see, it has grown so much. It's really, really gotten a lot longer. It's really, really grown out. I have not retied it or anything. Just so you guys can see. I have not, it's really, it has a lot of body too. Actually, the mousse that I use is right here <laughs> because um, usually I roll up my hair on my breaks and stuff from work. I normally will roll up my hair, but this is the, um, the uh, mousse that I've been using on my locks. It does keep them very soft. It adds a lot of body to my hair, as you all can see. I don't have to like really move my head like far or anything, uh, a lot or anything like that. And the hair is definitely going to shake. But um, listen, <laughs> let me just get into a little short explanation of where your girl has been. I have been on a roller coaster ride, okay? And I was begging to get off. <laughs> Finally, I was able to get off of the roller coaster ride and oh my gosh from the time i think i the last video I made, I made was like in like august of uh 2023 so i have to catch y'all up from august of 2023 until february of 2024 so what we missing august september october november december January. So it's been six months. Oh my gosh, y'all. It has been a whole six months since I uploaded a video. That's crazy. First and foremost, the first thing I was dealing with was storage on my phone. When I tell you I had the worst experience with storage on my phone, I'm going to have to tell y'all that story when with my nephew. I can't even tell y'all that story without my nephew because the way he treated me to help me to get storage right for my phone so I could be able to do my videos and stuff. My nephew never dogged me like that. And I was just like looking at him like, you think you would have thought of, you think, it? I mean, he was talking reckless because I didn't know the answers, I guess. I, he, But anyway, so the storage was an issue. It was different things. So much is going on. You know, my acting career, my daughter is now getting into the music industry. Um, it's just been so much stuff going on. Um, me being more self-aware and awakening things within myself that were, you know, sleeping. So it's been a lot of stuff going on. But let me just give y'all a review and update on these locks, baby. So as you can see, they are definitely growing and flowing, baby. I'm really happy with this. And what I'll do is I'll put some pictures in so you guys can see how far they have come. Because these locks have came far, huh? They look per... I just love them. These roller sets. I probably just do these because um, it's easy. They're really cute. And 
this one I've been bonneting every single night. It was tighter than this when I first originally did it. I was looking like Esther off of somebody's um, uh, Sanford and Son. But, you know, as it drops, it gets really, really beautiful. As y'all can see, it just looks really great now that it's dropping. But, um, yeah, so... I want to say, like, August. I want to say this was, like, in September. Yeah, it was. It was before it got real cold outside. So, in September, <laughs> I'm sitting there, you know, uh, at the auto body shop getting some work done to my car. And I'm, you know, sitting there, get ready to smoke. Yeah, because I smoke. I don't care what nobody thinks, says, or nothing. I've actually since quit, since it's been... 18 days since I've smoked any cigarettes so you know I'm very proud of myself because it's that's been a 30 year habit that I have had and um been trying to kick I kicked it once before but I really love the hair but anyway I had kicked it once before and um picked it back up during due to some stressful issues and stuff that were going on I picked it back up and you know have just now since been able to kick it again but in any event in September I'm sending it to auto body repair shop baby and I goes to light up now y'all know I love wearing my baseball caps I ain't even gonna hold you I had this one on right here this is the one I had on I had my cap on right and y'all know how I like to have my hair down like you know my bang area because I like bangs because to me, my forehead is big, so I be wanting to have bangs. So I had my bangs right. I got my hat on. It was in a pony. It wasn't, the back was in a pony hanging out. And the, you know, the front was the only thing that was exposed, right? So I go to light the cigarette and then my locks go up. Yes. Y'all heard me. I done caught the locks on fire, baby. <clears throat> now, I have the little lock here to prove it. No, that's not the one. Because I had to attach one back on. It's been a doozy, hon. Let me see. Where's the little one at? Because it's right in the front. You can't miss it because it's so small. There I go. There I go. <laughs> this is one of the ones that... um. That burnt off. And it's growing back now. Here's another one. Look. Look at them. Look how little they are. Burnt. When I tell you I burnt them babies off, burned them off. That's why they have been laying low under this. Lay low, please. I had even contemplated like, oh my gosh, I was so upset when I did that. But anyway, so after that, I'm like... I'm not damaging my hair no more. I'm like, oh my God, I got to really be careful with it. I can't do this and I can't do that. So then, you know, it starts getting cold. And I was about to say, y'all know me, but you don't know me. I am not a cold girl. I do not like the winter months. So, you know me. <laughs> you get ready to know me. So that's one of my, body. I always say, you know me. Y'all don't know me, but <laughs> you about to know. I don't like cold weather. And when winter time comes in, I need, oh, like a hat scarf and gloves weave is the hat and the scarf okay so i go i usually will put in some hair so lo and behold winter eased in because like i told y'all the last time i retied my hair was on my one year anniversary and that was in november i didn't even report back to y'all that i hadn't retied my hair in a whole three months i've been going like three whole months not doing no reties or anything ain't no 30 days no more baby <laughs> just like now right now i have not retied my hair since november my one year lock anniversary november the 6th was when i locked my hair i mean when i retied my hair and i have not retied my hair ever since that day so lo and behold i said let me put some hair in my head because it's starting to get cold outside i do not i'm not trying to freeze I put these individuals in. These individuals here, cute. Y'all see them, right? You see these individuals, right? Y'all see these individuals, right? They were cute. Very cute. Also very heavy, and I'll never do one. I did, what I did was, is I made a mistake. I did one plait on each lock. I should never have done that. That's where I messed up on my hair at. I should never have done that to my hair. 
in a million years. But it's cool because the edges will grow back. Because that's what took out my edges. Now, this one didn't really get took out so bad. I don't know why. But I don't know if anyone else has noticed that when you have a dominant, your dominant hand, which is my right hand, I'm right-handed. So anytime you have any issues with your hair or anything or uh, any pain on a certain particular side of the body, start paying attention. It's probably on your dominant side, which is the side that you use the most. So this side seems to not be able to like grow back in. It's growing back in way better now after, you know, the braids have been out. And after I took the braids out, I was so like, oh my God, I could not believe you know how many and locks actually came out y'all like actual locks came out of my hair and i have them i kept my locks because when the hair grows back over here like one came out over here like three or four came out over here and like it was like a couple in the back that were really really hanging it seemed like they were hanging on threads so i cut it you know once the hair comes back i will go ahead and get those reattached so after the braids come out Honey, I did me a crochet. The crochet is one of my favorites. This is the crochet. The crochet also, as you can see, was a beautiful look. It wasn't nothing wrong with this crochet. The only thing wrong with this crochet is my edges were bald. <laughs> and I could have probably not went ahead and did no crochet until I had rejuvenated and worked on my hair from after I took them braids out. But no, I had to have another weave because it was so cold outside. Honey, I took that crochet out and seeing that this edge was even more bald and even more of my locks. I took, hold on, let me show y'all because I don't think you believe me. Look. Look at them. Long ones had nerve too. Look, look at that. That's what come out. They are dusty, my brusty, but I'm gonna get them straight. They dusty. There's one. We got two. Look at them. Three. Four. Five, six of them. Now, this one was long, baby. This one is the one that came out from over this side. I even remember where they came out from. I don't play no games with my head. Those are all going to go right back in. A couple of these were ones that actually burnt off from the front. So, I need to reconnect those to those two, like them two short ones up there. I'm going to reconnect them to those and everything like that. So... Listen, it has been a little bit of time going on with this here, but now I'm just not, I'm not messing with it. I'm not doing no other, like, nothing to it. I'm not putting no heat on it. I'm not straightening them out no more. I haven't straightened them in a while. I'm just going to do my roller sets. I see that the roller sets, they last. They just drop beautifully. I'm just going to do... Just the roller sets. It has grown tremendously. I'm going to throw some um, pictures of the journey up. Just so you guys can see. Um, I hope that everybody is still even watching. Or will, you know, tune in and watch the update of my hair. It has, um, you know, come back in. I'm definitely going to do a review of, you know, once I do finally go and get it retied uh you see that that's edge control built up right there but um yeah you guys i know y'all could see let's just take it down the middle it's not it doesn't look too bad it's definitely outgrown and i noticed that when my hair gets outgrown like this i just typically go for you know one of these looks because it's easy i can you know do what needs to be done with my hair and um and it still looks nice it doesn't look like it's outgrown or anything like that people never know that it's like really outgrown and that's really um you know why i'm doing the hair like this and also y'all already know that my hair is very fine also so 
with the hair being so fine and everything, the um the uh roller sets give it volume. So every time I do a roller set on my hair, it provides a nice amount of volume to it that I'm able to like really just, you know, um give it that fullness. I like a full look. I like a fullness. I like it to be nice and full. The this roller set really did come out really nice. I use actually, you know what? I probably keep using the um gray and purple roller set. That's the ones I use this time. But listen, I just wanted to step in, give you guys an update of everything that's been going on. Thanks so much for tuning back in. I just wanted to come back in, give y'all a little bit of a, you know, hey y'all, I'm still here kind of thing. And, you know, show y'all the lives, how much they've grown and all of that. So, as always, thanks so much for tuning in. And... I will definitely be back on schedule making, um, you know, getting these videos out for you guys. Keeping you abreast of what's going on with this head. So, don't forget about your girl, okay? Thank you. So, that's all for now, folks. Toodles.